Hey, my name is Matt and this is Ranking Tactics. And in this video, I wanna share with you the massive update to the AI writing features of phrase that were dropped today. This is, this is mind blowing. I have not experienced such good quality or high quality output from an AI tool that's based on, on the SERP and factual data. This is something you don't wanna miss. If you don't have phrase, you, you don't even know what phrase is. Phrase is something that comes after your keyword research. You need to find your keywords with a tool like SEMrush or Hrefs. And then once you have your keyword, you're going to feed that into phrase and phrase is going to go out, take that keyword and go out to Google, pull in the top 20 results and then let you do the research on those results, let you write about that, that research and you can use AI and there's all kinds of different ways to create content that's designed to rank. That's the main focus of phrase. After you have your keyword, how do you create content around that keyword that's going to rank higher on Google? Now, if you don't have phrase in the description below, there's a link. Definitely check it out. You don't want to miss this because I'm sure your competitors are probably using phrase by now. So the article we're going to be working with for this example is how to help a dog lose weight. We've already put it in here. Phrase has gone out to Google, pulled in the top 20 results so we can review all of the research here. And the first update deals with the different headings for each of the SERP results. Here is one of the headings that we expanded. We just clicked it and expanded it. Two weeks ago, three weeks ago, there was two buttons in here. One of them was a summarize button that the AI would then summarize this content. And there was another button that would create like bullet points and stuff. Neither of them, in my opinion, were very, they, they didn't have a use case. They weren't very usable. I, I couldn't find a, a reason to, to rely on them for my content generation. They have replaced those now and inserted this right about this button and the quality of the output is mind blowing. Let me just show you right now. So we're going to, this is how to help a dog lose weight. We're gonna have the AI rewrite this, rephrase this, but pull concepts from this about the concept of what makes veterinary weight loss diets special. So we just click right about this. We give it a second. When it comes to losing weight, most people think about what foods they eat and how much exercise they do. But for dogs, another important factor is nutrition. As pets age, they tend to put on weight. This extra fat accumulates through the body, making it harder for older dogs to move around without discomfort, weight gain, blah, blah, blah. If you notice your dog gaining weight, consult your vet. He can recommend a weight plan, weight loss plan tailored specifically for your dog. So that is in here, but it's not phrased this way. So phrase has used the, the facts and the, and the concepts from here to rewrite this. Now, each time you click write about this, you're going to get a different generation. And so in some instances, if you don't like what you get, you generate again, you'll get something completely different, but still relevant to what the, the SERP had. Do a couple more generations just to show you. So this one, as we're generating, this one says weight loss diets aren't just for humans anymore. A growing number of veterinarians are recommending them to overweight pets. They're designed to support healthy weight maintenance, improve quality of life and reduce risk factors associated with obesity. Veterinary weight loss diets differ from human diets because they contain fewer carbohydrates, less sugar and more protein than most commercial foods. Like that's, that's great. And if you read some of this, these concepts are in here. Uh, man, look at this. We got like six paragraphs. And now this one started talking about the Purina Pro, Pro Plan and Royal Canon, uh, which are recited in here. So phenomenal, phenomenal. I have not experienced from Fraser or any AI tool the quality that you're getting from this. So that's the first update. And you, you can do that for any of these different SERP results. Uh, you can and it just be, I want to point this out, just realize that the less content there is to write about, the less output you're going to get. So for this one right here, there's more output, you're going to get more output. For this one, there's less, you'll get less. So just keep that in mind as you're using the AI to, to then write about these different concepts. Now, the next update is to the outline functionality. And this is massive. This is absolutely massive. When you click outline previously and, and right now, you can view the SERP in this horizontal list. It's a very easy way to get at that high level overview of the entire SERP and see what everybody's talking about, find the commonalities. And then you can click on a particular item and then bring it into uh, this list here. And what's really cool is when you bring something in, like we can bring in an H3 right now, and we can click the little gear icon and make that an H2, make that an H1, completely customize it. We can go in here and edit, edit the text, or we can delete it if we want to. And then we can even move things around if we want to. It's, it's a very convenient way to just build your outline based on the SERP. Now, this only works well with the highly competitive keyword. Highly competitive keywords usually are going to have a lot of articles about them. So the top 20 results, each of those results might be directly on point to that keyword. 
a long tail, like uh, how to help your pet snail lose weight, might not have any articles written about it. So this outline functionality might not be very useful to you and you should try to write your article a different way, such as by using one of the AI write templates, like write paragraphs from, from scratch or something like that. There's a lot of ways to write an article and phrase, and this is just one of them and it works best when the SERP is very competitive. So we have our, our outline right here. And then what we can do is we can click this outline button over here and paste, just paste it in. Now that's existed before, right? That, that's not a new feature. So we can just paste those headings in, pretty cool. But then we can go to summarize. Now this is the new feature. Now it takes a second to run, but let's click it and see what happens. All right, so that took a good three minutes or so. I cut the, uh, the generation time out, but here is the output. You, and this, is, this takes a moment to, to understand what's going on here. What Phrase did is, so here's our, our outline, so proper diet. So this result here talked about proper diet. So what Phrase did is Phrase went out and found everything in the SERP, not just from this particular SERP result. See, this particular SERP result comes from the American Kennel Club over here. But Phrase took the concept of proper diet and went out to all of the SERP results, all of the 20 SERP results, and found things that involved proper diet, and then used AI to, to then summarize and make points about each of those. So each of these are AI-generated summaries and points, bullet points, so to speak, about the concept of having your dog uh, have a proper diet. And these are all unique. There, there should be no plagiarized content here. So what you can do is, just click uh, paste summaries and paste all of them in. And if you don't like a summary, you can uh, edit it, you can move it around, you can regenerate, or you can click this little plus button and it will add more summaries to this list. It's a very, very, very powerful tool. So here are the different uh, points about these concepts. Now, what can you do with this? Number one, you can uh, put this into your content brief. So we can take all this stuff, and we should have been doing this in our content brief. We put it in our brief, and then as we write our article, we go to split view, we can see our brief right here. And assuming you're a good writer, you can then just write using these particular concepts. Or you can send this, you can share this, uh, this article with your writers, and they can then write about this using these concepts. So let's go back to the outline, and we'll talk about the, the next stage that you can do with this. So, what you've seen so far is new and it's pretty cool. It's, I mean, this is something very, very unique, but let me blow your mind right now. This is amazing. What if you want Phrase to actually write your article for you? There was a flavor of this before the update, but this, what Phrase has done is taken this to an entirely new level because now the, the final, this, this draft that we're gonna create right now is not just based on this particular SERP result, this particular SERP result. Now it's based on all of the SERP, and that's what makes it really mind-blowing. So let's write the draft right now. I'll just show you what happens and I'll shut up. It does take a little bit to, to run, but uh, you have to wait for good things, right? All, th all good things come to those who wait. So proper diet, let's just read that one while it generates. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking that it's okay to feed their dogs junk food because they're, quote, just being good pets. This is a big mistake. You shouldn't give your pet any type of processed foods, especially those containing corn syrup, artificial colors or flavors, blah, blah, blah. These are just some of the ingredients that you don't want to see in your dog's food. If you do decide to feed your dog something like this, make sure to check the label carefully. If it isn't one, ask the manufacturer what it contains. Or if there isn't one, ask the manufacturer what it contains. Also look at the ingredient list online. Most companies post their ingredients online. You might think that feeding your dog a balanced diet is too expensive, but remember you're paying for the quality of life that your dog enjoys. And if you're willing to spend money on your dog's health, why wouldn't you spend money on a better diet? That's fantastic. And that's unique content that's not in, I mean, it's in the SERP, but it's not phrased that way. It's not written that way. This is like unique. It's not plagiarized. You could publish this article right now and be completely happy with uh, with the, the final product. All right, so this is the result. It's 2,218 words, a lot, a lot of content here. We can do some quick edits on the titles and this article would technically be good enough to publish. Now, if this were a very competitive keyword, and I believe it is, I would spend more time on this. I would probably beef some of these up, make sure this is uh, really optimized for the, the results. And look at this right now, right now we're at 47%. 
So you can tell that this has already used a lot of the different concepts in the SERP. And we, again, this was all based on the, uh, the outline uh, headings that we chose. So the more you choose, the more optimized the final output is going to be. Uh, but this is a great start, great example of what the AI is capable of. Now, some things you can do is we can, uh, let's delete some of these, like the monitor your dog's treat intake. So let's find out where that is. All right, so this, this is the monitor your dog's treat intake. We didn't get a lot of output for it. So let's try a regeneration. Let's regenerate that. So we'll just write draft. We deleted everything else. Well, we still didn't get a lot of output. Let's try one more thing. Let's expand our summaries a little bit. Let's delete this one. And it might just be because there's really not a lot of good stuff in the SERP for this. All right, let's try that. Okay, so we're not getting more output for that one. Hey, no big deal. Some of these you won't. What you could do is we could then go over to the AI writer and use one of the templates if we wanted to, or just write it by hand. So like paragraphs from scratch, here's my template. We can put this in here and probably get more content. Now this content that the AI is gonna write is totally based on the AI and not uh, the SERP. But if you want more content, this is another way to go about doing it. So here we go, we can delete this thing that the, uh, the, the the AI wrote. Now we can insert this one. So we get more content. So there's a myriad of different ways to fill up your document with relevant content. And the outline is one of them. The AI write templates are one of them. And the, the write, about, uh, write about this is another way to go about doing that. So those are the main updates inside of the document. I wanna show you a really cool update outside of the document. You click on AI tools. So this is the, the next thing I want to show you. This is an article rewriter. It looks like the other AI tools, but it's a little bit different. A normal AI tool kind of has this, this type of interface, but the AI writer has a completely unique interface and you can import a URL, have the phrase crawler go out and, and pull the data in, or you can just paste your content in there. I'll paste a couple paragraphs in just to show you. So here is our content. And it breaks it all up by paragraph, which is really cool. I'm gonna set the creativity at two. I have really good results with that and just click rewrite. Now it takes a, it takes a couple minutes depending on how many paragraphs you have, but the output is, it's really impressive. I have never seen, never seen a rewrite this good in my life. I have a Quillbot subscription, love Quillbot. It makes things more readable, but it doesn't rewrite things. So here's the paragraph, the input, here's the output. An important aspect of being a responsible dog owner is being sure your dog is in shape. Being a responsible dog owner means keeping your dog fit. That is a legit rewrite. Now look at the similarity. This is really cool. Phrase will say how similar this was to the, the input. 30% similar. This is 21%, 42, 57. And if you don't like the generation, if it's too similar, and I don't know where you draw the line, but you can just say, okay, rewrite it. And now we're 57%, let's try it again. 52. It's a little bit harder to get different similarity when you only have one sentence. It's a little bit different. I, I did this for a whole article and the whole article, it was completely different and it would be good enough actually just to publish. This is a scary tool. I could see a lot of people just going out and ripping off entire articles and, and pasting it in here and doing a rewrite. And then what you can do is you can actually save it into a document. So here's our, our search query how to help your dog lose weight. So we create our document, it pastes this stuff in here now, and then you can do everything that we already did. We can expand upon this with the SERP and add more sections, add more, more content. It's a very, very scary tool, but it's amazing. I think you're gonna absolutely love it. One last update that the phrase team pushed out in the AI tools, they added an option for long form right here, and they have a, a how-to post and this listicle, uh, listicle generator. Just between you and me, the listicle generator, it doesn't come close to my listicle generator. Community templates, uh, listicle with paragraphs, you're gonna get twice or three times as much output as the phrase one. You're gonna get the intro, you're gonna get multiple paragraphs. Use this one, this is uh, really good. You can compare the output, I'm not gonna show you on camera. But uh, definitely, there's still a lot, tons of value to be had with these community templates and with templates in general. I think Phrase, if I were to explain Phrase to somebody, it, Phrase is Tony Stark's lab. There's so much 
there's so many tools and there's so much power and all the different tools have their own their own pluses and their own minuses and they all need to be used together but they can all be used independently so there's not just one way to to do something in phrase there's multiple ways but that's lost on a lot of people so many people now just want to go and just hit the the generate article button and, and get something get a result but that's not how you're going to rank how you're going to rank is determine how competitive the keyword is and then what your goal is what are you trying to do are you trying to rank or are you just trying to fill an article on your website are you trying to fill up a website for a, a local customer or something like just populate his website like what are you trying to do phrase can help you do any of that you got to know how to use the tools properly if you do want to learn more about how to use phrase subscribe to my youtube channel i have a lot of videos on using phrase and i go through everything step by step if you do have any questions that i didn't answer drop them in the comments below or go to the official phrase facebook group it's completely free tag me ask your question i'd be sure to help you out uh, i think that covers everything again thank you for watching good luck with your content generation and goodbye